Hey everyone, this is Daniel, and today's video I want to talk about user-based granular permissions. Uh, so just to be clear, this is not about you know accessing the app, or this is not about you know permissions for the backend database. No, this, I'm not going to be focusing on that. This video is when everybody has access to the app, but it's what Im what's important is what everybody should should and should not be able to see in the app specifically once they are able to go in and what items they can and cannot see in that main gallery. So this was actually a common scenario that I saw um, and I was asked this question quite a few times in all the recent events. So I thought I'll put together this video with a solid demo and I'll show it to you guys. So uh, what I'm gonna do is before I even deep dive into the um, whole you know, how-to scenario, I'll actually dive into a freshly built app and I'll show it from different user perspectives so you can actually see how the user-based permissions work. All right, so let's jump in. Okay, so I've logged into my Power Apps over here, my Power Apps Studio place. Um, and if you guys notice, there's now a new URL. It's called make.powerapps.com. Um, and so first thing I'm gonna do is just to make sure, I'll show you all the three users. Um, in this browser, what I have over here is me. Um, it's daniel.christian. Then I have another browser. In this browser, there is, um, Another person, I've just named it after Ashley. And then I got another browser. And over here, this is logged in as another user, and that's Shane Young. So now that you see that there's three specific people uh, logged in as three specific, uh, three different ways, let's go and see them from each user's perspective. So let's log in first as me. Um, I have pretty much full access, so let's just see what everybody should be seeing. So this is my app over here. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And as I click on the app, the app's loading. And this is what I see. Okay, I have got full access to everything. I'm able to see this app. And this app's pretty simple and straightforward. Um, it's just a place where a school teacher uh, or an admin can go ahead and then just put in all these test scores for all of these users. Uh, you may have actually seen my uh, Power BI integration with Power App, but I have this um, report of all the students and all their performance. This is the exact app that I actually embed into that. Uh, or at least a back-end database. All right, so nothing fancy about what I can see because I can pretty much go in, um, you know, put in new requests and things like that. Let's switch over, let's switch over to the other two users. So in the other two users, let's actually jump into um, Shane over here. Now when Shane comes in, again, he's able to see the app that he has access to. And when he clicks on it, the app's opening up from the web uh, browser. And as he opens up, you'll actually notice something a little different. So here is Shane, he has logged in. Um, and in a second when the whole, you know, the app actually refreshes right on the bottom over here, you can see who is logged in and that's Shane Young. He's logged in. But you notice something that he's not actually seeing everything that I was able to see. But let's just go and check to see if it's just not him or if it's also Ashley. So I'm gonna jump into my other browser um, and I'll go ahead and click on the app. Um, same thing's happening. I just selected another browser so we can switch around easily. Um, and again, Ashley is logged in over here. Uh, in a second, you'll actually be able to see, you know, her name show up over here. Same thing, logged in as Ashley Comzy, And she's not able to see anything as well. So somehow I'm able to see everything and people are not able to see, you know, Shane's not able to see it, Ashley's not able to see it. But can we give them that granular level permission where Ashley's only able to see her test scores and Shane's only able to see his test scores. Also importantly, I as a school teacher can have control over which test score that they're able to see. So let's go and do a test on that. So I'm gonna jump back to the other um, uh, window that I had over here. And I as a school teacher say that, okay, I want Ashley now to see her literature score. So I'm gonna come in over here in my app, I'm gonna edit it, and I'm gonna search for Ashley and I'll click over here. So now I'll go ahead and submit that. And now both me and Ashley can see it. So from this side, nothing looks very really different, you know, because I was an admin who was able to see everything. But let's switch over to what Ashley can see now. So I believe Ashley was on this browser over here. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and refresh now. And voila, she's able to see her stuff as well. Because that's remember, I only picked uh, literature. Now remember, as me as a school teacher, I was able to see all of it. In fact, there were two Ashley ones over there, but I only selected one. And that's the beauty of not only a granular level permission, but a user-based granular granular level, not just a whole group or you know the whole app, 
but it's a user-based granular permission. But let's just not stop here because I want to switch over now to Shane's app um, and just confirm that, hey, this is only Ashley who's seen, it's not Shane. So let me jump over to um, Shane over here just to confirm that Shane's app, refreshing it just to make sure. And nope, Shane's not able to see anything over here, which is great because that's exactly how I want it. But now I'm going to jump over to me as a school teacher or as the admin, and I want to see Shane see his literature score. So I'll log in in the exact same way. I'm going to search for just Shane. And as I just do a quick search, I pick Shane over here, submit that. Now Shane has that permission over here. Go ahead and save it. Again, for me as a school teacher, I'm able to see everything. So nothing that much has changed for me. But now when I log in to Shane's window, just to confirm, and if I refresh it, Shane is only able to see his score, specifically that literature score over there. So this was the demo that how I was able to do a user-based granular permission. And now I'm going to deep dive into how I was able to build all of this, you know, what were the formulas, um, and I actually have a demo app, uh, which we will be able to go and rebuild some of that. All right. Um, now, that is actually a separate video altogether. Uh, I've put that link down in this uh, description. So if you click on it, you'll actually see the same type of intro that I just did. Uh, but that video also deep dives into the whole thing over there. So click on that link. Um, and if this is the first time you're seeing any of my videos, definitely hit on the subscribe button and always hit like. Thanks.